very new school style uh, tur turret placement. Usually the turret placement just would go on the outside or very close to the inside and now it's just kind of right in the middle which is very nice. Oh god guys I am losing my voice. Um, Reaver dropping just getting one kill off there. Uh, killing off a marine. This uh, I think having those, these marines alongside is uh, a very nice thing to have uh, for ushering the shuttle out of your base. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think, God, I can't. I'm trying to put somebody in the lead right now. To be honest with you, I like. I, movie just needs to be. I think a little bit more aggressive with this shuttle. I think he needs to move in here and uh, take out some more stuff. Taking it like taking out one SCV there. You know, a marine here. It's. I just don't think it's gonna cut it. They're just so easy to uh, reproduce and just get back. Uh, dropship is coming out now. I'm not gonna. I'm not sure where he's gonna drop. He knows that he needs to dodge the vision of those that gateway and that core over there. However, there is a pylon here. Very nice positioning on that pylon. I'm not sure if he was setting that up just to expand, but uh, it's it's uh, it's a it's a really nice position. It's a really nice yeah scouting position. Um, some vultures out in the field now. Uh, some tanks up there and those vultures definitely need to come in now yeah i would have preferred the vultures to come in first or one vulture or two vultures one tank to be completely honest with you but uh yeah now that everything's getting taken down here wow this is actually a really nice drop from baby very quick this guy has got to have some really nice apm because he's moving very quickly uh he's got extremely good micro on these tanks uh setting them up very nicely um mines going down however oh those mines might take out those dragoons we did not see there if those if uh some of those dragoons got taken out definitely only some mine hits went off though. Observers are now out on the field, so uh, the dragoons are going to be able to pick off the mines that come out. Um, very nice pylon wall here from Movie. However, he is uh, C blocking his own dragoons here. Oh, one mine goes off. A second mine goes off. Boom. Oh, he needed one more mine to go off on every single one of those dragoons. Would have died to just four vultures. Um, those four vultures doing, I think, doing uh, worth, you know, worth their weight in scrap metal or whatever the hell they're made out of scrap metal and an ugly guy however much that weighs they were definitely worth that because uh they did their uh, they did their task by damaging those dragoons and killing one if they would have killed off all those dragoons they would have certainly done their weight in something better i would like to say gold but i don't want to be cliche platinum or a lot of styrofoam <laughs> um <laughs> Anyways, uh, Templar Archives now is going down. I'm going to assume that that's going to go up just for the uh, the, um, the ability to produce the Arbiter Tribunal. However, he is de denying mining at this base once again. Th this base, his main base. Um, he's probably going to take out that cannon. Hopefully he can take that down. Yeah, the cannon does go down. However, uh, this tank is certainly not going to live. Um, he is certainly going to die. Uh observers yeah accompanying these dragoons i think with all this harassment that baby's doing i actually to be honest with you the the game that i did see or some of the games that i did see baby play that was fantastic or that were fantastic were the games on gom tv i highly highly recommend that you go and check those out those games are really really good um yeah he he does some amazing dropship play sorry i'm trying to uh uh, my crush is trying to talk to me here on uh, vent, but uh, I'm not letting him speak. Um, anyways, uh, some more harassment going off here, and it's actually really funny to see just random little uh, Terran units just running around the Protoss base. Usually you don't see that for any race, against any race, but uh, except for the Kakaru race, as we see there running around the Terran base. But uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so setting up these uh, siege tanks in a very nice position. Um, by the way, for uh, future reference, for those uh, for those Terran players out there, uh, the bottom position is actually a lot easier to defend with your tanks f to take that third base across that bridge than it is for the top left uh, position, uh, just because the tanks can actually reach farther out. Um, anyways, yeah, it looks like Bye Baby is trying very desperately to get down that core. Um, I'm not sure if Movie has rebuilt that core in his base. There's a possibility that that is the case, and... Hopefully we see an ace match. Um, I can't believe how many times I've rhymed throughout this marathon. Um, it's ridiculous. But anyways, 
uh, some vulture harassment going on here. Lee, <laughs> that was actually a cool little trick where he led the uh, the whole uh, Protoss ball around one bridge and then he went back up the other one. And Bye Baby loves his drop ships. My God, um, if if this was were fantasy playing right here, I would love it even more because he actually looks like Boxer. But I think Bye Baby right now is playing a lot like Boxer with all these drop ships going all over the place. His APM is has got to be massive. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, we do see a second core there. So even if oh. Oh, losing a shuttle there. That is not good. Um, that's definitely going to set him back quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure what was in there. I'm going to assume tanks. And even if it was just four vultures, I mean, like I said, they usually make up for their weight in uh, scrap metal and ugly man. But uh, anyways, we're going to see what uh, he target fires here, but I don't think that's going to live for very long. It looked like there were dragoons firing at that thing already. Uh, at that tank. Yeah, the tank does go down, and it looks like there's a vulture in the back position there. Oh, but uh, Mind Drag, that Z-Lot, wow, ruthless. Um, if I could kill somebody, it would definitely be to set off a mine in their face, but me be the one who sets it off, and then survive through it. That would be badass. But, uh, or, or to take a tank, lay underneath the tank, and just punch a mine while I'm underneath the tank. That would be hardcore. Um... Yeah, and then walk away from it. <laughs> Have the tank explode on top of you and everything. Um, and then you gotta loot the guy's corpse. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna make a WoW reference. I don't play WoW, but, you know, looting and stuff. Anyways, um, upgrading air weapons here, so... It or air armor, I would imagine. Um, he already has range, so it's certainly not, like, range 2 or something like that. But uh, it is... Um, it, it's it's air something, so he's definitely going for some kind of air aggression. I did not see a um, that thing that makes carriers that I can't think of the name of right now because I don't see it enough. No, not that one, Mooney. The the star the thing that makes the beacon, the fleet beacon. There we go. Um, sorry, I got to get back to this action here though. A shuttle getting picked off. Another shuttle getting dropship. Sorry, getting picked off. Four by baby, and uh, this is. Um, not looking good. I think movie he might in unintentionally be doing something extremely good for himself because Baby keeps sending packs of vultures over to that left side to take out that cybernetics core, and uh, movie keeps stopping it. So I think what that might be setting him up or, or setting by Baby up for his failure because um, although movie does have a cybernetics core, yeah, there's the fleet beacon BTW. Um, Although he does have a cybernetics core in his base, he's making it look like, and I think it's unintentional because I don't want to put give movie too much credit here. I think it's unintentional. He's he's making baby think that that's his only cybernetics core, so he's making baby push out and try to take it down, and he's just taking out packs of vultures. He's already taken down two and a half packs of vultures. I don't know how many make up a full pack of vultures, but it's two and a half thus far that he's taken down. Arbiters are now out in the field. I'm going to assume that there are uh, that he does have stasis upgraded if not recall he's got to have something upgraded at this point um unfortunately the arbiter tribunal does not spin i'm sure it would do some damage if it did though um like the cybernetics core where you could see something blinking i think all all buildings should do that and if you see here this is exactly what i'm talking about he moves his army over to defend that core um not necessarily that big of a deal but it is actually putting doing something in his favor uh and these these that's so strange. He's target firing the pylon. That doesn't make sense. Uh, he, he got one last hit on it to make that fire bigger, but uh, kind of strange. Um, anyways, now is the time for Bye Baby to push, however. Um, his weapon upgrades are 2-1, so this is typical flash timing. Um, and it looks like there's an SCV transfer going down. I'm not sure where his next base is, but there, there are SCVs transferring somewhere. I hope to God he's not taking them out onto the battlefield. I don't think you need that many turrets, and I don't think you need uh, SCVs at this point in the game. However, um, Bye Baby has secured this solid arse bridge over here. If he would have went to the left, he would have taken down the new, brand new expansion. However, if he takes down this expansion on the right, he sets himself up for an amazing position to take out three bases. That is right, three mining bases. He takes out the one on the right, moves to the mineral only in the top right, and then he moves around the side to take out the original natural base. So, uh, 
definitely sets him up for a good position. However, if you check out the mini map, it does look like he's moving back, and it looks like a recall is going to come in here. But EMP goes off on that arbiter. An excellent EMP going off on that arbiter. Regardless, I actually think that would have been better for Baby if he got off the uh, recall because there were so many mines there. However, you want to be uh, safe, not sorry. So uh, he definitely took, I think, uh, the uh, safer option. He didn't want. He did not want to risk the. Uh, the chance of him uh, getting off the 